Hi everyone, it's Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again. Um, in the past, I have done a couple of videos talking about uh, one of Behringer mixers, the uh, Zenix Q502 USB mixer, and talked about how we can use some tricks and some connections on the mixer to get zero latency so we can actually record uh, our microphone and listen to it at the same time without the delay which is introduced by the computer. I got questions asked, um, how do I record a video? What settings do I need? What setup do I have to have um, to record a song? So I decided to make one. So in this video, I will go through of um, how I have everything connected in hardware wise from a microphone to a mixer to the laptop and then what software I have used um, to record the song. And the software that I'm going to use, which I found a lot of people ask about, is Audacity. Now, Audacity is a free software to record audio on your computer or on your Mac or even on Linux platform. Um, it's not the best one. It's not my favorite one. I've hardly ever used it. I only learned how to use it just recently uh, for this dem demonstration purpose as well. So I know how to get, get it going. It does have its limitations. So, uh, but that's the whole purpose of this uh, video. So I can show you how you, with minimal outlay, you'll be able to record a song and present it as, uh, as best as you can. So without any further ado, let's get on with some of the things we need. So, the first thing you need is a microphone to record your voice or your instrument if you're playing a guitar and so on. So, um, that's your source of sound input. Um, I would highly recommend to invest as much as you can into a reasonable quality microphone. You don't have to go and spend hundreds of dollars buying a, a you know, top of the range microphone, but um, you don't want really cheap microphone as well because cheap microphone will have lots of noise in there and the quality of the sound it will be very thin, uh, very hollow. So spend around 80 to $100 getting a good uh, microphone, reasonable quality microphone. The one I'm going to demonstrate today is the ISK BM900. And that's a microphone, I think I paid about $80, that comes with uh, the, the foam, um, and it, it is a condenser microphone, so you do require 48 volts power. And it comes with the microphone desk stand, as well as a nice case, um, which is sitting over there, for you to store it in once you've finished. So it's a really good quality microphone, and that's what you're hearing now uh, on the video, the, the sound coming from this microphone. Um, because having a good source to capture the sound that you want to uh, record, it is uh, pretty important. The next thing, obviously, we need is the mixer. So we can actually connect the microphone to it to record everything into our computer. Now, this is the uh, uh, Behringer's uh, Zenix Q502 USB microphone. It basically has a one microphone input and that's the wire that's connected to our microphone. Um, and it has two stereo line inputs as well, which we won't be using at this stage, but you could be able to connect uh, a keyboard there or um, a drum machine and so on and adjust the volumes accordingly. And this connection here, you will see, is our zero latency um, trick. If you haven't, uh, if you don't know what it is and you don't know uh, how to connect it and what to do it, watch my previous video, it will explain it. The other thing I have connected here is um, my headphone output. There's a headphone connected and my headphone is sitting right there. And the other connection, uh, which you normally would not require, I have paralleled out from the headphone, is this wire here. Okay, and that's connected to my video camera that you are watching now. So that anything that I hear on my headphone will actually, you be able to rec I'll be able to record and you'll be able to hear on the video presentation that I'm doing. And obviously, there is a USB connection going into my laptop and that's my laptop. So once you have all of those 
connections made, the microphone into the mixer and uh, the, uh, the RCA connection loop back for the zero latency and you've got the USB connected to your laptop, you are now ready to start recording. So we'll head on to the laptop screen so we can set up Audacity um, and get all the settings right so we can start recording. Now, for this uh, purpose, instead of me recording whole tracks of, uh, for, for a song, I have just uh, got myself a backing track of a song that, we gonna, that I'm just going to load into Audacity and then record a couple tracks of my vocals singing and then we're going to play around with our vocals and sound it really the best, do a mixing and then uh, ex and export the song as a final mix down. 